Hey Edge Finders, Brett Solomano here and we're at uh, Houston, Texas today doing the Freedom Over Texas fireworks show for the 4th of July and uh, there's a lot of fireworks we got here, just do a quick pan around. Uh, you see them all down there, all these black tubes wrapped up right now for weather, not that we need it. Uh, there's definitely no rain on the horizon right now. Uh, plenty, of, uh, plenty of sun and it's very hot out here. And we're just talking uh, with a couple of friends recently, question for today, and that's all about failure. And we're talking about uh, failure and how you can't be successful at something unless you've failed. Um, in a show like this, there's always little mistakes that happen. Um, but thankfully, they're always very small. They're always like a little shot out of place with so many shots. There's always one or two that get mixed up or something like that. But you never want to have big mistakes that happen because big mistakes uh, can be the ones that kill you or kill somebody else or damage something or injure people. You definitely don't want to have those. And the trick, I think, when you're getting started in something, people freak out about failure. They want to succeed. They want to have the perfection nice and early because it's very validating for them. But at the same time, you need to have the failure, small failures that can set you on a, on a course to learn and respect. Uh, something like fireworks, if you're doing them, you have to learn how dangerous they are. Not by seeing it firsthand, but by understanding them and hearing about it from other people, hearing stories from other people. Uh, with stunts and trucks, I've had a lot of near misses that have caused me to have more and more respect for, for what I'm doing. And if you don't have these experiences, then sometimes you just don't really have a gravity or a true deep uh, embodied understanding of, of the gravity and, the, and the, the full depth of what you're doing. Uh, whether it's business or whether it's in relationships or anything like that, I think it's very important to always step forward into it and make very small mistakes. Not mistakes that take you out of the game, but mistakes that teach you to play the game, as they say. So that's my question for you today is, what can you be failing at in very small ways? Deliberately uh, call up people to, to move forward with your business or your career or your art project or whatever. Just take small steps to make little mistakes because it's in those mistakes that we uh, correct our course instead of going perfectly. Life is never like that. It's always a little bit of uh, failure, 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 and that's actually how we move to success. So how can you make uh, steps today and take steps today to make little failures to learn about the course that you need to take and keep moving on with what you want to do. Um, because if you don't take that action, sometimes we sit too long and procrastinate with perfectionism and that's not good because you never actually move and movement is what get it, gets us going in life. And so that's my question for you today and until next time, be curious, learn often, live deliberately. Happy 4th of July everyone.